Hey everybody, thanks for joining. If you're new here, my name is Eva, and that's my cat, Charlie. And Charlie is inspecting my Tory Burch bag. I know Charlie. We're gonna talk all about it. He's hoping for an unboxing. He's like, where's the box? Where's the unboxing? <laughs> I know, Charlie. I feel that way too sometimes. This is the Tory Burch Dragonfly bag. And I want to do a review on this bag today because I saw that they had a couple of dragonfly bags in their spring sale. And I thought just in case somebody is thinking about buying one of those bags, perhaps they would like to have more reviews up on YouTube because I noticed there are, Charlie, you can't fit in there. <laughs> there are a few videos, but not a lot of videos about the dragonfly. So I'd like to put my review up so that anyone who's thinking about buying this bag can have more information out there that might help you make that decision. And by the way, I just recently filmed my Tory Burch collection video and that will be going up in the near future. And of course, if you are interested in Tory Burch bags in general, I would encourage you to subscribe so that you can see that collection video in the future. Okay, so let's talk about this bag. I found it at my local secondhand store. I wasn't looking for it. I didn't even know about this bag. But when I saw it in the store, I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm interested. Because once I saw this bag and saw the construction of it, I was really impressed with it. This is a tote bag, but not a long handle tote. It's a short handle tote. And it comes with a detachable and adjustable strap that you can use for shoulder or crossbody if you wanna have your hands free. I recognized right away that it came from the McGraw line because of the way that the logo is. It is monochrome with this patch of leather. So it's definitely one of the more subtle branding styles that Tory Burch does. It is like a bucket style tote bag, but it's not a round bag. So you can see here on the back that it's actually flat, but on the front of the bag, so this is where the bucket look comes from, is on the front of the bag but the back of the bag is flat. And so this is really nice for wearing it because this stays really close to your body. This makes it really comfortable, but on the front, it has that bucket look to it. So I think that's really unique and interesting. And I really like that style of it. And the sides wing out, giving it more presence and a more fuller look. So here is a full turn and here is the bottom. Of course, my bag is in a color block. Some of them are monochrome. This is in leather and some of them are in textile. There are two zippers. So you could actually unzip this bag to give it a little bit more room, though I don't do this because it has all the room that I need. One thing I should mention here is that the drawstring feature here, it doesn't really affect the shape or the function of the bag. It's, it's pretty much set. So you can let this out and it gives you a little bit more room, but I never really change this up. I just leave it. I just leave it here. So I've got the bag packed up because I've been using, using it recently. One of my favorite features of the bag is right here in the front, right here behind the pleating behind the drawstring. I'm gonna turn it around this way so that you can see what I'm talking about. Here is a pocket here in the front. And this is my favorite place to put my phone because that's probably what we reach for most often in our bags. That's a really nice, generous pocket. Like, you know, you could put more down in there, but I love that pocket right there. There is another pocket here on the back wall of the bag. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit more tight. And I put my keys back there just so that they're not, you know, like rattling around in the bottom of the bag. But if you use a small wallet or like a card holder, I think that would be a really nice pocket for that. Here's one of my recent uh, Coach Trumpoy card holders that I've gotten that fits in there perfectly. And it's, it feels very secure to me. Like I don't think that would fall out a great place for a card holder. But I'm using a long wallet, so that's why I'm keeping my keys right there. So let me unpack the bag and show you what else will fit in here. Water bottle. This is my key pouch that I use for work. 
it's a fossil key pouch. I love it. I think the leather is really soft on here. Like I mentioned, this is my long wallet. This is from the Limea brand, which stands for Love You Mean It Always. I've got a small notebook in here and then some other small SLGs at the bottom. I've got my mini pochette. A Felici insert, I use this for a pen pencil case and my vintage eyeglass case. Okay, so now that the bag is empty, you can see the full construction of the bag. The material and the construction of this bag is super impressive. It's not lined, it just feels like the other side of the leather, not like in a raw suede way, but kind of in a refined, in a raw but refined way. I know that doesn't make sense, but I'm just letting you know that it's it feels really nice and sturdy to me. And then of course, here are the D-rings for the strap in case you wanted to use them. So here's a better picture of the back wall pocket. And then here's a better picture of that front wall pocket. And it comes out, like I said, it's a really sizable pocket. There are snaps here. So if you wanted to try to pull this back together, you could if you were to do that this is what it would look like though i have never done that before because usually i just have stuff you know too much stuff in there to try to do that and i just i just in general like the openness of this tote this tote does come in two sizes this is the smaller size i've seen it on some sites as the mini dragonfly i do see the larger size on the website now as the oversize so do note that there are two sizes and this is the smaller size I have a few other bags to show you just in terms of size comparison. Okay, here's what the bag looks like handheld. Here's what it looks like in the crook of my arm. Okay, I've got the crossbody strap attached here. These handles are so nice. They are flexible that you can move them around. And when I do wear this bag crossbody, I just move the handles to be tucked inside the bag. And then this is what it looks like when I throw it on crossbody. So thanks for joining me I, and Charlie today as we talk about this really beautiful bag from Tory Burch. I highly recommend this Dragonfly bag. I think it is beautiful. It is very well crafted. It's very high quality and I have really enjoyed using it lately. Stay tuned. I will have a Tory Burch collection video coming up soon and of course this bag will be fe featured in it along with several others. So thanks so much for watching today. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. You take care. See you next time. Bye.